Yo, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to basically make a video on my CFG and how to get one and how they're actually really useful in CS2. So, um, basically a CFG is not a cheat. Uh, a CFG just allows you to have more consistent inputs in the game um, and it will definitely help you as a movement player become more consistent and make the game just feel so much better even if you're not a movement player. So I'm going to start reviewing everything that I've got going on in my CFG. So one of the first things is a more consistent b-hop. Um, so basically every time that you input a b-hop um, you are going to see something in your console that looks like this and this will be a way that you can tell if the CFG uh, will end up working. So it's executing a certain file that inputs the jump for you rather than the sub tick system kind of mucking about with your inputs and maybe causing you to not hit a b-hop that you deserve to hit. So I'm going to leave my CFG down below and I'm going to show you guys how to install it uh, after I kind of go over and preview everything that I have in my CFG. So as you can see a more consistent b-hop um, is going to allow you to you know, start hitting more purse that you deserve to hit. Um, and yeah, so next, nulls. Uh, nulls are basically a better strafe. Um, the subtick system in CS2 doesn't only mess with your keyboard uh, inputs and your mouse clicks, it does interfere with the way that you aim. And if you guys remember when the game first dropped, your aim kind of felt a little bit funky and it felt weirder. And not only will this help you with strafing, but it will help you with the way that your mouse moves on the screen a little bit. Um, it's not an insane difference, but it does make a big difference if I remove this file uh, from my CFG. And then I would definitely notice a difference, and I did when I installed it. So it allows you to have better and more consistent strafes for when you're trying to b-hop around. It'll help you, you know, move the way you want to move, you know? So next uh, would be your d sub tick binds. So if you actually look at my keyboard and mouse, you go to my movement binds, it actually says I don't have W, A, S, and D bound and some of the other things in my uh, my controls there aren't bound. So D sub ticking your binds kind of does the same thing as the consistent b-hop where it's actually executing a separate file within your config folder that allows you to get a more consistent left and right forward and backwards and it does make a big difference uh, especially if you you know were trying to test around and then took these files back out you'd be like wow this is crazy can't believe some people are playing like this you know so you got a better uh, and more consistent uh, crouch forward backwards uh, and left and right and then you got the consistent b-hop and then you have a jump bug bind and I am not gonna review the long jump bind because I hate long jump binds and I think that as a player you should learn how to do them vanilla because it is a very core mechanic and it's a very easy mechanic and I think it'll make you a way better player learning them without a bind than learning them with a bind so but a jump bug is in a different category. I think that a jump bug is great to have a bind for. And a jump bug basically allows you to get a standing jump height uh, from a b-hop. So if I b-hopped here, as you can see, I can't get on top of red box at all. But if I'm standing still and I jump once, I can gap on top of it. And a jump bug, um, it actually allows you to get that, that standing jump height out of a b-hop. And it also allows you to kind of reset your string of b-hops and let you get kind of more consistent in a row if you're able to hit a jump bug in between them. So how do you do uh, a jump bug with this bind? Basically, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump, crouch, and then uh, as soon as you're about to hit the ground, like you're timing another b-hop, you're going to want to press mouse 5, which is, or you can bind it to whatever you want to do, but I bound mine to mouse 5, so I don't need to move any of my fingers off of my movement keys to hit it. So, uh, and you can be holding crouch the whole time, uh, but to do a jump bug, it's basically the act of doing a, like, letting go of crouch as you're hitting your next b-hop and it will cause your character to kind of spring up higher than they're supposed to and give you a jump bug so you're gonna want to jump crouch and then if you're timing your b-hop you just press the bind and if you hit it 
you're gonna get that jump bug in. So I'm actually really failing this here. Uh, there we go. I kind of I got one there. And I got one there as well. So you know you just jump, you hold crouch, and then you just press mouse five when you're you know better hit your next hop and it will give you a jump bug. And that's really good for doing lines like on top of red box. Uh, I'm not gonna try it because uh, it will take me a while, but. You can actually jump bug off of this thing and get up on top of this off of a B hop. But as you can see, if I tried doing that without a jump bug, it's not possible. So yeah, that's also in there. And uh, there is an LJ bind in there, but it doesn't work. So if I actually input my uh, LJ bind, as you can see here, the check W does not work and I don't know how to fix it. Um, and I just recommend not learning how to LJ with a bind it, it, it peeves me um so yeah that's everything that's in my my cfg and now i'm going to show you guys how to get to the folder to put everything into because i'm going to leave a download uh to my cfg in the description so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to your steam library here you're going to find cs2 you want to right click it you're going to go to properties installed files and you're going to want to click browse and you're going to go to once this opens up your file explorer you want to click game CSGO, CFG, and then in this folder is where you're going to drag and drop everything in this file that I have for you. So if you wanted to change any of the binds, uh, you're going to want to find your auto exec here. And let me just close my CS2 real fast because I'm mucking about in here. Uh, you're going to want to take this off of read only. If it is on read only, hit apply and OK because this will allow you to edit it. And you can come in here and you can change your JB bind. Uh, this is the LJ bind. I'm not sure if maybe there's supposed to be a space there between check W. Um, but these are, you know, your binds here. And, you know, say you don't use control to duck uh, or AKA crouch, you can change that in here as well. And yeah, so this is everything that will make all of the rest of this function. So what's in there is this file. Uh, all of these files right here and this jump file and this is the more consistent bhop and the null file sorry I forgot about that one um, but putting this all in your CFG folder on this file path that I'll also uh, put in a string in the description will make your game feel 10 times better uh, and then once you're done if you had to edit anything in there you want to go to properties turn it back on to read only and hit apply you're going to come to your CS2 for one more thing, and under general, you're going to scroll down until you see this thing that says launch options, and it gives you a little thing to type in here. And you're just going to put dash auto exec, and I'll put this in the description uh, in case you know you're scared that you're going to mess it up, even though it won't cause anything. Um, and yeah, if you uh, do get it working, you can go into a practice like I was doing in there. And then just start b hopping around and open up your console. And if it shows execing jump, executing jump every time that you b hop, then you know that everything from this video has worked. And if you have any problems with anything, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and accommodate you if I can. So I hope that uh, this video helped you guys and I'll catch you out there.